Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Thank you. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am here right now in Goa in a hotel which I've been so many times that the name of the hotel has only changed. Earlier it was known as Park Hyatt, now it is known as ITC something something. something, something. Anyways, I have come here to drive the Volvo XC40 and I know all of you guys remember the XC40 from that advertisement which keeps coming all the time. Used to come actually. Bot paise kamaya, bolo ne. Ne ne, YouTubers ne kamaya bhot sare paise. That ad which is talking about a wireless charger in a car which costs rupees 50 lakhs. What is the big deal? Actually, not really much. So I actually arrived here in Goa earlier at 2 o'clock. Had a nice lunch. I was actually having kids food somehow today, mac and cheese and all. And now just chilling. The schedule is super hectic. It's so hectic. Not today and tomorrow because it's a little chill. Volvo, it's just an engine change here, not a complete new car. So it's not stress. Nahi hai. But you won't believe the whole month is so stressful. I can't find a single date for me to actually, you know, sit back, relax, and uh, you know, think of anything at all. It's not busy schedule. Hai. It's they're like the back to back, back to back, back to back drives. But now it's time to go for a dip in the pool because there's a slide here as well. So I'm going to go for a quick swim, go to the beach, chill a bit. 7:30 is the press conference. I don't know what they're going to brief us on because already we know everything about the car. The car was launched two months back. Okay, that's an electric go kart. Now, should I actually be driving that one? Well, I don't think so. Clouds have already fallen, that's all you can do. Starting storms, rain is coming again. So here I am, crying. Always. Beach done, swimming done, bath done, everything done, totally freshed up. Now we're going to go for the briefing. Briefing, mein, I'm not too sure what we're going to be talking about because the car is the same. The engine is new. It's our design, but it's the cheapest. Uh, our design is the top end trim, but inscription and momentum is what the XC40 diesel comes in. Anyways, let's get going because already getting super late. Good morning guys, so right now it is 7 baje, but it seems like 5 baje because I'm feeling so sleepy right now, but I have to get going. The good thing is that it's not an all new car, so I'm very much prepared, it will be quick. First we're going to finish the vlog, take some pictures, come back and then have breakfast. Otherwise it's a little bit, but I don't have much fun. The whole atmosphere is so nice right now, it feels so chilly, winter is here, winter is not really winter. But still, it's nice weather. You don't have to wear thermals or jacket or anything. Chalo, car pe pochte, fir baat karte. So just sat in the driver's seat and all excited because it's a Volvo. Obviously, the car looks really nice, quality, everything is on point. Uh, safety features are like insane in this car. But I'm not too sure about the petrol engine because petrol engines in an SUV. You need diesel power and the diesel torque. So brands always keep stuff in the car like, you know, chewing gum and uh, mint, uh, some chips, chips, biscuits and all those things. You can also get a packed breakfast if you want, but no one's interested to eat today. They also keep uh, aloe vera wet wipes. This is fine. This is normal, which I've seen. Uh, hand sanitizer, again normal I've seen. But this sunscreen, this is the first I've ever seen by any brand keeping it in a car because kut ki twacha ko bachana is very, 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 very important. So let's get driving. You know the very first thing you feel once you get inside a petrol powered Volvo XC40 is why are they discontinuing the diesel? 
Why is it not becoming BS6 compliant? Because the engine, it just doesn't inspire. The car looks so brilliant. It just doesn't go as fast as it looks, unfortunately. Then look past. The quality of this car is just amazing. Everything feels so nice. The interior is lovely. The amount of features, it's insane as well. In fact, you know, to do the vlog, I'm actually carrying a full list of what all is there inside this car. But in terms of competition with the German drive, especially the GLA, which is very old, which is like a hatchback, honestly, which I feel on steroids. Sorry, Mercedes, but that's actually the fact. Now, the new one will obviously be better. The X1 is the newest car in the segment. Great car, lovely. This one does not get four wheel drive. It is only front wheel drive. Makes no sense for a SUV to have front wheel drive, right? However, you know, Volvo believes that 99.99% people do not actually off-road an XC40 or an XC90, only XC60 they off-road. I don't understand the mindset of buyers. It's not about off-roading itself. The grip from four wheel drive, more reassuring, less understeer. This car feels a little sluggish to drive somehow, which is kind of unfortunate because you expect a lot more. I can hear, I can feel the steering vibrate, not hear the steering vibrate. It just feels so smooth, so refined until and unless you decide to downshift a couple of gears and there the motor actually gets quite vocal in a good way near the red line it kind of feels breathless somehow and the handling is also nice there is body roll on offer ground clearance is 213 mm on this car but the way it inspires you to push hard is nice only thing is the engine doesn't support as much because 190 horsepower is nothing in a 50 lakh rupee car it is on the lighter side though when you compare it to the age old body on frame SUVs which obviously weigh a lot and actually this is an alternative to that ride quality is on the stiffer side for sure and uh, I don't understand how do these guys get on the other side any idea? <laughs> no idea Go on a camera <laughs> so, sort of a dead end I think either se ghus ke udar gaye hum log karenge na vlog matlab vlog to already live hai kahin to idhar upar click kar lo us map also gone there only yahan se off road karke because gaadi gandi hui to no problem at all and is what we are going to do is uh, we are going to get into dynamic mode and let's see what is the acceleration like esc sport on that is some wheel spin on offer and front wheel drive na you can turn on traction control without a second thought nothing is going to happen it's just going to wheel spin, it's going to understeer, that's about it. It's not going to lose the rear end at all. So as you can see, performance is brisk enough as long as you're hard under the throttle, but it's not very natural or progressive in that sense. You really have to hit your right foot on the A pedal to get going quicker and faster and more reassuringly, but steering weighs up nicely, brilliantly, smoothly, gives very fluid feedback as well, very progressive of a steering wheel and car remains supremely glued at high speeds as well. So brilliant in that sense. Overall, I would say the XC, uh, sorry, I was going to say 90, the 90 is like stuck in my head. The XC40 is actually a brilliant car if you're not really keen into driving, but you really want something which is loaded to the brim with features, features and a lot more. I mean, no car comes even close to the XC40 in terms of equipment at this price point. The only thing is 39.9 lakhs X showroom actually turns out to be 50 lakhs on road Mumbai because unfortunately this being a CBU the registration charges are also higher on this car now, enough of me blabbering it's time to go for breakfast because super hungry yaar kuch khaya hai nahi so se took the car a little off road and that was not really a good decision because see the condition of the car it has become so dirty but that's fine okay that's just the rear imagine the condition of the tires i mean the alloys the wheels you can I, i'm not too sure you can see that right now but let's be short lagata pura andar tak there is like sand mud whatever but ground clearance is super duper duper awesome anyways back to the uh, hotel hotel this is not the grand tour Just back to the room after the drive and a very heavy breakfast. It's not heavy, so time is 10 30. I think I'm going to take a nap right now because I have to check out at 12 o'clock. Lunch ka to scope nahi, but lunch is at 12 o'clock and leave for airport at 12 30. Back to Mumbai by around 4 o'clock and then edit the Volvo vlog which I shot today. 
व्लॉग इतना अच्छे से नहीं हुआ बिकॉज आई डोट नो रोड्स वर डिफरेंट सो आई वॉज लाइक कॉन्सेंट्रेट मोन द रोड सो गुड नॉट रियली टॉक एज फ्लूडली एज आई वॉन्टेड टू एनी वेज थैंक यू गाइज फॉर ट्यूनिंग एज यू सी दिस इज जस्ट लाइक अ ट्वेंटी फोर आवर प्रोग्राम बिकॉज कल अराउंड ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक भी निकल टू ओ क्लॉक आए यहाँ पे ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक निकल गए नॉट इवन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इन गोवा बट दैट्स हाउ इट इज फन हेक्टिक बट डेफिनेटली एन एडवेंचर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ट्यूनिंग एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस लॉग यू नो वॉट यू हैव टू डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल बाय